Hey, most insurance agents set goals and then very few actually hit them in the next year. Okay, I'm Cody Askins. I set a goal back when I was 20 years old to earn 100K my first year. Because of the steps, the four steps I'm gonna share with you, I earned $117,361.13 in my first eight months as an insurance agent. Okay, so I'm gonna give you four specific steps that you can do to make sure, okay, I'm even gonna give you a bonus, so that you can make sure that 2020, you hit your freaking goals, okay? Step number one is you actually need to set a goal, okay? You actually need to know that, hey, I have a goal. Most people don't know where they're going. If you think goals are cheesy, if you think goals don't work, if you think goals are a waste of time, then you'll probably never actually hit anything, okay? So number one, set a goal. I'm telling you, you wanna do nothing without setting a goal. After you set the goal, let's just say that it was, because I bet a majority of you, this is what it was. Stay with me, pay attention. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I guarantee you, most, most of you, that was your goal for 2020. Okay, if I was right, put it in comments below. If I was wrong, tell me in comments below, right? I've been wrong before. Not a lot, but before, okay? 100K, I guarantee that's what it was. The second step I'm gonna tell you is that you actually need to set it bigger. Okay, here's why. I was just on the Success Society accountability call that we do every week and a member spoke up and said, you know what, when I set my goal at 100K, I fell short and I made 80. He said, but when I set it higher, I hit it. Okay, so maybe instead of 100K, maybe you should set it for 125. Maybe you should set it for 150. Maybe you should set it for 200K. And you say, well, why? Number one, if you fall short, you still hit it, okay? Also, you will, it'll make you work harder to actually hit the bigger goal. And you'll end up doing the activity for the bigger goal and end up falling. Even if, even if say that you do the activity for 200K, because you've outlined it, you know what it takes and you do the activity for 200K. What will end up happening is it will, let's just say you have a bad day, a bad week, you can't throw a beach ball in the ocean, um, somebody, something happens to a family member or you get sick for a week or, you know, you have to go to a birthday party or vacation or life happens or holidays or whatever, right? Cause stuff happens. You're doing the activity for double. So who cares if you have to take a week off, you're still ahead of schedule for what you're originally actually wanting to make. So set it bigger. If it, that's what it is, you're not going to hit it because it's too small because when life happens, you're going to fall short. Okay. I don't want you to fall short. So set it bigger. Okay. Next step after setting it bigger is I want you to reverse engineer what that looks like. Okay. What does that look like for you? If it was, uh, if it was, if it was 200 K it's 4,000 per week. Okay. How many sales is that? How many appointments will that take? How many people you need to sit with? Like what does all of that look like for you to make sure that you know your numbers? You need to wake up and know, okay, if, if I set 20 appointments and I sit with 15, I always close at least seven to eight. Well, if it's seven to eight, you're probably gonna be at 4K a week. Okay, so reverse engineer this thing. Know what you need to do to make it a reality. Okay, it's one thing to say it. Talk is cheap. Okay, as Wendell said in our Sesame call earlier, Bradley talked about this. Okay, you need to be thinking bigger and actually doing it. Okay, you also need to be telling people. You don't wanna keep it in, you don't wanna keep it private. It holds you accountable when you tell all your family and friends. So I would do that. Okay. Fourth thing is you need to know what type of activity does it take to make this a reality? Is it so many dials? Is it so many door knocks? Right? So I'm coaching a agent that's trying to get to 400 K next year. Okay. Actually, I think it was actually it's 500 K with some annuities. Okay. And what he is wanting, okay. What he is wanting is he has an appointment setter and we talk through, he wants to sit with 20 people. So we, we're looking at numbers. His appointment center needs to set 30 appointments a week. 
His appointment setter needs to speak to 60 because he's, you know, two thirds of them stick. Half of them actually book because he speaks to 60 and two out of every 10 answer in a, on a bad day. So he's got to dial 300 people a week to make all of this a reality. But that's what I mean by activity. That's what I mean by numbers. We know that as long as they have the lead flow, and they do because they're working with a secure agent marketing and they get a couple hundred leads a month from us, okay? As long as the lead flow is right and the appointment setter does what he knows he should do, then guess what? They just slayed 500K. Like it was nothing because they knew what to do and it was in front of them and they knew the activity. They had reverse engineered it. They said it bigger than they first, they first said it smaller. I'm like, no, freaking said it bigger. But they actually had a goal to begin with, right? Now here's the bonus. The bonus is you need to write it down daily. This is something I do, something I believe in doing, okay? So for example, for example, my own goals, okay, is that I write down, okay? I wanna own a jet. I wanna get our companies to $1 million per month at our conference. I want to get to where we have 10,000 agents there one day and I want to help every insurance agent in the world. Okay. Those are my own personal goals. You need to have freaking goals. Well, I own a jet apps of flipping lootly, right? Well, we get to a million dollars a month, probably before we own a jet. Okay. Will we have 10,000 agents at our conference in maybe three years? Yes. Okay. Will I be able to help every insurance agent in the world? Time will tell. Okay. But the point is, I used to write much smaller goals. I just told you when about a decade ago, I wrote a goal that I wanted to make 100K in a calendar freaking year. A year is a long time. Am I setting bigger goals now or am I setting bigger goals now? I am because I set one, I set it bigger. I reverse engineered, I put the activity and I write it down. I write these down every single day because I'm committed to going bigger and helping more people. And so I wanna challenge you in your own business, okay, to make all of this a reality you're going to need you're going to need to be creative okay you're going to need to think on another freaking level you're going to need to think bigger you're going to need to be innovative and you're going to need to realize that you can learn from others which is probably why you're watching this YouTube video right now you can learn from other people. And when you actually start to realize I need to innovate, create, I can need to think freaking bigger and I need to get around success people. I can learn more. I need to go to retreats, events, conferences, etc. You can scale your business. Okay. So I was just challenging my success society group to do this for 2020. And I want to challenge you right now to do this. Stop what you're doing. Pause the video or as soon as it's over, stop watching it and say, here is what I'm going to do for 2020. Take a second to reflect on 2019. Take a second to think about 2020. Also, every problem that you could potentially run into in 2020, I want you to list them all out and I want you to take them all away. Say, you know what, this, 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 and this, and I'm taking them all away, okay? What would hold you back from hitting your goal? You need to know it because it's probably gonna come up and happen. So I want you to, I want this to challenge you to take these four steps, set a goal, set it bigger, reverse engineer, put forth activity, and even the bonus, write it down every freaking day. In a year from now, I want you to think, did I hit it? If you hit it, how would you feel? Let's put yourself in your shoes in a year from now. How would you feel? How would you feel freaking good? I bet you'd feel, feel pretty freaking good, right? Now, if you feel good, you probably were glad you did everything it took and you did whatever it takes and you went for it. Now, do whatever it takes so that you can end up with that feeling of success and that you did it and you achieved it. And I promise you, whatever you did the year before will be totally worth it. Hey, so if you love this video, I've got eight rules for calling insurance leads. It's right there. Go there, click on the video, and I'll see you there. So these eight rules will make sure that you're able to stay in control and it'll help you set more appointments when you call leads. All right, so let's jump right in. The first one is you need to assume that the